Hey guys, we are going to review slope intercept form from equations, graphs, tables, and verbal descriptions. So let's start with equations. So we know that slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. m is always the number in front of x and that is the slope. And then b is the number by itself and that is the y intercept. And remember that sign in front of b is attached to it. So all we are going to do is identify the slope and the y intercept. So on number one, the slope is the number in front of x, which is three. And the y intercept is the number by itself, which would be negative four. On number two, I have y equals negative two thirds x. That makes the slope negative two thirds since that's the coefficient of x. And then our y intercept is zero since we're not adding or subtracting anything. We're adding or subtracting nothing and the number to represent that is zero. All right, and then on number three, we have y equals 10 minus 1.5 x. This one is written out of order, but remember the slope is still the number in front of x. So the slope is negative 1.5. And then the y intercept is the number by itself, which is 10. And that would be a positive 10 since it does not have a negative sign in front of it. That means it's positive. Okay, now let's look at graphs. Remember the slope can be found on a graph by doing rise over run. And then the y intercept on a graph is where we cross the y axis. So let's write the equation for this graph. We're gonna find the slope and the y intercept. So right away I noticed that the slope is negative. I'm gonna put a negative sign so I don't forget that. And there's two perfect points. I'm gonna draw my slope triangle. The rise is two and the run is one. So the slope is negative two over one, which simplifies to negative two. And then the y intercept is where we cross the y axis at three. So our equation is y equals negative two x plus three. All right, let's look at tables. I still need the slope and the y-intercept. Remember the slope on a table can be found with the slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then the y-intercept is where the x value is zero. So let's start by finding the slope. I'm just gonna use the first two ordered pairs for my x1, x2, y1, y2. So for my slope, I will do 20 minus 10 for y2 minus y1 over four minus two for x2 minus x1. 20 minus 10 is 10, four minus two is two, and 10 divided by two simplifies to five. So my slope is five. Okay, then remember the y-intercept is where the x value is zero. Unfortunately, that is not on my table. So I'm gonna set up an equation to solve for this. I'm going to plug into y equals mx plus b and solve for b. We can choose any x and y from the table and I already found my slope, it's five. And then we'll be able to set up that equation and find B. So I'm just gonna let the first point be X and Y. And then here is my slope or M. So Y is 10, the slope M is five times two for X plus B. Okay, now I have my equation set up. I just need to finish solving for B. First thing I'm gonna do is simplify. So 10 equals five times two, which is 10 plus B. And this is a one step equation. The last thing I need to do to get B by itself is subtract 10 to move it to the other side. And 10 minus 10 is zero. So that means that B is zero. All right, now I have my slope, I have my y-intercept, I can finally write the equation in y equals mx plus b form. It would be y equals the slope five times x, and then I don't have to put plus zero since the y-intercept is zero. Okay, last representation, we are gonna go over verbal descriptions. So the slope is the number that repeats. 
And usually we have those numbers like each, every, and per. And then the y-intercept is that one-time fee or beginning point, some sort of extra number that's added on. So we just need to read the verbal description and figure out which number's the slope and which one's the y-intercept. So let's look at number one. It says, Bill has a bag of 50 Jolly Ranchers. He eats three Jolly Ranchers each day. So obviously he is beginning with 50 Jolly Ranchers. And then he is eating three Jolly Ranchers each day. So I know three is going to be my slope. Let's think about if it's going to be positive or negative. So he's not adding three to this bag of 50. He is taking away three. So the slope is going to be negative three. So then our equation would be y equals negative 3x plus 50. Okay, let's look at the next one. Angela owes Oscar $50. She is going to pay him back $10 each week. So Angela owes Oscar $50. That means she is down $50. She has a negative $50. That's where she's starting at. And then she's going to pay him back $10 each week. So that's going to be a positive 10 that she's adding to that $50 that she owes him. So then our equation to represent this situation would be y equals 10x minus 50.